Very high-level recruit a couple of years ago, red-shirted last year. He's 6'5", 225, 49 in white. Here's Bain on the run. Passes it down low, no angle that's... He's set, so it's a two-man game on one wing with a triangle on the far wing with Bain behind the goal. Got Kastner on Bain, great matchup. Bain gets a step, comes topside, does it. And then 21, after the COVID year, last year getting back to championship weekend. Hopes to win an Addy again this year. They've got the team if they could solve the face-off issues. That's going to be a work in progress all year long. But at every other level, they've got a team to get back. Seconds on the clock. Bain, looking to dodge from up top. Got the switch. So he's got Terenzi on him now. Slide comes. They switch off. That leaves somebody open. Brown got free. He'll, no, thought he was going to take that tough angle shot. Thought better of it. Bain. Gets in front of the cage. He shoots high. Let's keep an eye on Michigan's face-off X because even though they have a great player in Wheatfeld, as we all know, sometimes, for whatever reason, it's not working out versus a particular opponent. you got to have two guys in this. In great to start the second. I had Matt on my podcast over the winter, and he talked about Kevin Cassis, the new offensive coordinator, and the impact that he's had shooting on Matt. Babe, oh, what a goal! Will it stand? Together, and you see the huddle after this goal. Bame's got the short stick matchup. That has not happened enough. He does a really nice job of dealing with the double team. Ben Weyer is there. Watch 44 take an angle. And Bame's got to shield his stick, launch himself in the air, and manage to stay out of that.